Hi, I'm Steve Casley from CBT Nuggets, and welcome to this micro nugget I've called Story Time with TFS. In this micro nugget, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the new series we've just released at CBT Nuggets, which is called Being Agile with TFS. And in this micro nugget, we're going to focus on everything that TFS has to support stories and story maintenance. Hence, story time with TFS. So put on your most favorite comfy jammies, grab a cup of hot chocolate, and sit back and get ready for story time with TFS. So here we are in TFS, and story time is focused on work, specifically in the backlog and on the task board. So let's first go to the backlog and look at how TFS supports the backlog. And for those of you who are not familiar with the term backlog, the backlog is simply the list of all of the stories that are contained within the Agile project. So here's all of our stories for our Agile project. We can further categorize them by the, the iterations that we've done in the past. So iteration one and two are complete. And we're currently working on iteration number three. And here are the three stories that have been defined for iteration number three. They're the ones in blue, confirm the area of study, validate the student grades, and validate the account status. If we have a look at a story itself, the story is going to have the full details. As an academic advisor, I need to confirm a student's area of study so that I can validate the required courses. Now that is free form text, but the recommendation is that you use the standard nomenclature of as a type of user, I need to perform an action so that a specific result can be achieved. At this point in time, it's a new story. So we're going to leave the status as new and we have already gone through, we've already estimated this particular story, and we say we think it's going to take about 16 story points of effort. We put the risk as low. It could be high or medium, but let's face it, validating a student's area of study shouldn't have a lot of risk to it, so we will leave it at low. And then we can come in and begin to analyze and, and categorize where we believe this particular story is going to be completed. And as we've already experienced, we've categorized that and said, this particular story and the three others should all be completed in iteration number three. So we'd have the same type of information if we looked at the other two stories. Underneath the story, we have another level of definition and TFS calls these tasks, or if you want to call them substories or work units. And these are the extra bits of information that we can assign to the team members to validate how the work is being done. So we have two pieces of work for confirming the area of study, validating the degree that the student wants to take, and then confirming that the student has all of the appropriate required classes, and so on as we look at the other two options as well. But recognizing that the backlog is, is nothing more than a nice long list of all of the stories, the real value we get from TSF for story time is the backlog board itself. So here we have the board, we have our stories down the left hand side, and the detailed tasks within it. So at this point in time, this particular story, confirm area of study, has the two tasks. And I'm going to give myself a little more real estate here. Confirm required courses is new, nothing's happening on it, but the validation of the degree is already done. How do we manage this beautiful backlog? It's as simple as grabbing the story and saying, I'm ready to start working on confirming the required courses, done. Or saying, I've already con completed this particular task, confirm the entry status, it's done. And it's time for me to start to work on this particular one and I just see I have a typo to confirm or to check that there's overdue library book. And while this backlog board is really useful at the iteration level, it's equally useful at the project level as well. So if we go back and look at our product backlog board at the, the project level, we again see all of the stories that are yet to be started. We see the stories that we're actively working on, and we see the stories over here that have been completed in the previous iterations, recognizing that we've worked on iteration one and iteration number two, work has been completed and is moving forward. We also have some very good reports at the top. We have a velocity report that says we had 48 
story points completed in iteration number one with two outstanding. Iteration number two was a work in process as I was putting together my demo environment, so it's not very fleshed out. And iteration number three at this point is sitting as 32 story points based on the stories that we have put into it. And we have a traditional called a cumulative flow, but we could call this a burn up, burn down chart. And as we see the way this one is particular graphing is this would be a burn up chart. So we have full graphical support to manage all of our stories as we go forward in story time. And while on the subject of useful reports, if we can go into queries, we can have a look at the queries related to all of the work and we can look at it in chart form where we can begin to better understand all of the stories that are assigned to the various team members. So here we see I have 24 stories assigned to myself, 14 still waiting to be assigned, Four are assigned to the team called Microsoft and looks like just a single story is assigned to my team FAO. It's actually Team Foundation. Gives me very powerful tools to go in and manage my stories and manage the assignment of my stories to my team members. And with that, my time for this micro nugget has expired. It's time to go to bed. But I hope with this very brief overview of story time for TFS, you have a feeling for the type of support we have inside TFS for stories, and I've only touched on the surface. We could expand on support from TFS for the stories as they move into development to do the builds. We have support from TFS for the stories as it moves into testing and test case management. We have additional support for the stories from TFS as we move into implementation. So all said and told, I think we have an awesome story called Story Time with TFS, and with that, I'm going to close out the micro nugget. I hope this has been informative for you, and I thank you very much for viewing.